Welcome back to two DG. Two. I'm Tim. Tristan. Chase. This is the Virgin. <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> he's never had uh, Dark Lord. But off camera, admittedly, we gave him a treehouse, which is Julius's king. Julius. King, excuse me. And um, we got some more treehouse or whatever to give him later. But <laughs> right now, we're going to break into the Dark Lord. This is this year's. Um, we got this back in. What year? April 2016. In case you're not watching this in 2016. And, wow, yeah. And uh, you didn't watch our videos when we were there to see that the wax is the black with sparklies. Sparkly. Yeah, or sparklies. <laughs> anyway, you know what we do. Let's get this open. Do it. <laughs> okay, let's get a pour. And this is the regular, we're just holding back on the variants still. Yeah, we still got, still got, what, five of them total? We don't want to start them on a variant. No, I haven't even had one. Well, I've had one. Nice. All right, let's check it out. Pitch black. Pitch black. Um, Can't nothing, see through that at all. Yeah, nothing on the edges. Um, head was a tannish coffee color. It's gone. Uh, kind of expected that. We believe this is 15%. But please notice how it just clings to the side. Oh, yeah. We smell it. <laughs> Wait. We're going to cling it. <laughs> Get your nose out there. Look at that. Just hanging around. Now, a lot of people do say it's too sugary, but anyway. Go Taste for it. it. Smell. Smell. Ah. Getting a little bit of a dark fruit on the plum, even. What do you smell? Um. Well. Think of foods you've had, flavors you've tasted. It's kind of hard to compare it to anything, honestly. Um. I mean, obviously, it has a lot more flavor than anything that I would normally drink. Um. All right, I'll I'll go. I'll listen and see um, where it connects. As I get raisins, plums, um, nice bitter dark chocolate, uh, almost kind of like a um, like a tartness in there, kind of like maybe a green apple, uh, soy sauce. Soy sauce. Yeah, <laughs> that's um, the easiest one. To it's a burnt malt, uh, sugar of the kind of like darker brown turbinado. Mm -hmm. A little bit of coffee, not a lot. Ready? Yeah! <laughs> Stacy. First timer. <laughs> that's that's pretty tasty. Uh, that's, that's got a lot of flavor to it for sure. I really like how smooth and velvety that mouthfeel is. Oh wow. The downside I don't remember this having this much of a soy flavor. This one seems like it's got a lot. Well, I think it's more the dark fruits. Um, nice dark pitted fruits, uh, really dried raisins, um, plums, things like that. Uh, like I said, a little bit of baker's chocolate in there, not as prominent as I would have thought. Neither is the coffee, by the way. Um, you do get the bitterness yeah, up front, though, from the coffee and the hops. There's some on the back end, too. Yeah. Um, like you said, nice velvety mouthfeel, super sweet as well, uh, really carries all the way through, uh, that also helps with the mouthfeel. Um, like I said, not carbonated really too much at all. Um, like you said, the soy sauce is prevalent, I don't think it's as prevalent as he does. Um, and it's, it's still a little hot, a little boozy. Not, yeah. not as much as I thought it was going to be though. Yeah, I gotta admit, subsequent drinks, the uh, soy's not as prevalent. It's plenty though. But I, that's actually a flavor I do like. When I said, unfortunately, I don't know why, uh, I do like those flavors. Uh, All right. But yeah, you can definitely tell it is a little bit hot still. Um, it is what about is geez, almost six months, five months right now, five months old since is we've that, had it. Is that all? Yeah. Seems like it was a long time ago. Right. Um, it's getting ratings. You already know uh, from the previous video. This is hundred overall on uh, Rate Beer, which is the one we use uh, to look at anyway. Let's go to the young gun here, the virgin. Well, should we tell him? Okay, go ahead. What we do is we go on a 1 to 10 scale. You can use halves. We don't go quarters. 
Okay. Um, one being the worst thing you've ever had. Ten being one of the best things you've ever tasted. We're going on style, so tell them what style yeah, the is. The style is a Russian Imperial Stout, right. which generally means just higher alcohol. Um, I think it's anywhere from 10 or 11 percent up. So basically, you would want to rate this against other Russian Imperial Stouts you've had. Okay. Um, well, I mean, it obviously, has a lot more flavor than anything I've ever really tasted. Um, normally, any of the beers that I've had have had a couple of like very simplistic tastes. Uh, tastes. Um, <laughs> yeah, tastes. My bad. Um, but it's, it's kind of complex. Uh, I can't really break it down, but it is, it is really, really tasty. So I'm like, uh, mm. on a taste scale, as far as beer goes, I'd have to rate this. That's not what we're doing. Not we're beer, style. just taste. Oh, style. 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 Okay. How are they doing on the style, Russian Imperial? Uh, for this style. style, I mean, I have to put it upwards of a nine, nine and a half. Um, just based on, I've never had anything to taste about this good. But it is kind of hard to reach perfection, so I can't go ahead and give it a 10. But anywhere between 9 and 9.5 and is where I'm going to have to put it. Good. Uh, first thing I want to say is that, as you know, the first time when you're starting out, it's hard to pick things out. you got to develop into that. And if you don't have a lot of experience with a lot of different styles, that's extra hard. And the first time you have something like Dark Lord, you're overwhelmed anyway. Mm. So your senses are just popping off. You don't really know what the hell to process first so but anyway as you know I'm gonna give this a 10 I don't think I think this is an exemplar exemplary uh, example of the style Russian Imperial style my god yeah 10 all right you got it out um, uh, yeah style 10 um, I have had a bunch of uh, Russian Imperial Stouts, easily top two. Um, nothing really comes to mind now that would push it. Uh, for me, I think KBS is just a regular Imperial Stout. Um, so I can't put that one up there. But um, I am a, I do have a preference myself for uh, sweeter Stouts. This definitely, definitely yeah, this is one of This is super sweet. I will say this year is really sweet. Mm -hmm. Now again, we will do one probably, I don't know, around January, maybe February of next year, so that way it has the full year almost to, to age, and we can compare and contrast then. But uh, And we do have variants. Yes. Which I said, we will do Vanilla Hangi by the end of the year. Uh, I don't know when, but we will. Um, overall, and this means any style of any beer you've ever had. Where do you rank this? Any style of any One kind of beer. It's kind of like, would you go back and get it again type thing. Okay, uh, I would definitely drink it again. Um, I don't want to put any kind of beers on blast, um, but anybody that kind of has the most social drinking experience knows what I'm talking about, and it's very bland, it's very boring, um, it's very, I'm going to buy a lot for a cheap price kind of beer. Watch Trash Talk. Uh, <laughs> watch Trash Talk, yes. Um, but yeah, I would obviously drink this again, for sure, for sure. Uh, it's not a party type of beer, for sure. Um, yeah, I can't imagine. You're not, not going to buy a 30 rack of this for 12 bucks by any means. You shouldn't even buy a bottle for 12. <laughs> you're not going to buy 30 ever. <laughs> but, I mean, it once. <laughs> if you compare this to any kind of beer I've ever drank, I'd have to give it a 10. It blows them out of the water. Uh, it has flavor. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a piss beer. Um, mind the language, but piss beer. But other than that, yeah, I'd give it a 10 for sure. Obviously a 10. I'm going to drink I'm gonna drink Dark Lord anytime it's offered. Um, yeah. What I mean, what else are you going to say? I mean... I know there's there's haters on Dark Lord, but really, you're not gonna drink it if it's offered. Um, sorry. <laughs> Ten. Uh, I will say the novelty's kind of worn off. Yes. Um, it's not. I mean, granted, I get excited when we open it up. I was more so excited for him at this point. Um, to me, it's it is special because you only get it once a year. Uh, and again, I don't know how and much it's big. it is, and I don't know how much money it actually takes to make it. Distribute it. I feel that Three Floyds could do that. Distribute it. Um, <laughs> you don't need to. People can do <laughs> But that being said, still special beer. Just not not as special as it once was. Uh, at least yeah. for me. But uh, ten. For sure. <laughs> hey, so if you got a sweet tooth, check it out. Nah, but anyway, we were both excited that he finally is trying it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're gonna try to bring him along. <laughs> hey, think about that. Poor boy in one day has had Treehouse King J -J -J Julius and a flippin' Dark Lord. 
Yeah. Pretty many solid people day. Can say that. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Do you? See ya.